Okay, let's say we have a map M from X, Y to X plus Y and X minus Y. Now let's let's do one that's not one to one and onto. Let's just say um, to uh, Y here. Well, maybe this is one. To, okay. Well, let's see. Here's a map, right? And we want to know what the what the um, let's say that we choose the standard basis. Let's let's do all the possibilities. Let's say we choose the standard basis. Here, the standard basis here is going to be one zero zero one. So we could choose the standard basis for both of these, right? Then to to find the matrix M, we just find the basis action. So we have one zero going M. Right to one zero and zero one going to x is to one one, right? So we have one zero going to one zero because, because if x is one and y is zero, and if x is zero and y is one, you get this. Okay, so therefore, from this, we see that the matrix equals. One zero one one. So that's the standard basis, right? But now we could take the same map and we could ask, let me just copy the same map down here. Um, X, Y goes to X plus Y, Y, same map. But let's take the standard basis here, and over here, this is, let me just, okay, I'm having trouble writing the calligraphic E. There's the standard basis. Okay, and let's choose a different basis over here, say, um, one, two, two, uh, two, one. Okay? So this is our basis D. Our basis B is the standard basis. Well, what we do is we go through, we find the basis actions. We want to still find what the image of one, zero, and zero, one is. So what's the image of one, zero? It looks the same as it was before, but we're getting this then in the standard basis, right? Not in basis D. And this one is going to be one one. So the problem is if if we were using a standard basis, so we're sort of given the map in, in from standard basis to standard basis in the vectors. But if we want to find the map M, it, it takes us from basis D to vectors and basis D, B to vectors and basis D. We need to represent these vectors in this basis. A, B, and basis D, right? Because here's the basis vectors, and we're, we're expanding one zero in terms of these basis vectors, and then the, the coefficients will be the um, representation, and this will be the first column of, of, of um, M, B to D, okay? So that's this extra step, and we have to do the same thing here, Say we have, um, I have to expand this to say C12 plus D21 equals CD in basis D. And so you can see that what's going to happen is that the matrix M BD is going to equal these numbers A, B, C, D. And it, it operates on vectors in basis B. And produces vectors in the in the codomain in basis D. So we, how do we let's go through and find these numbers just so we can see it concretely. Well, this is the vector form of a linear system, right? 
So we have one and two in one. We have, we, we can write down right away, right? Here, we can write down the, the augmented matrix for this right away as one, two, two, one, one, zero, right? One, two, two, one, one, zero. Because if I multiplied in the A and wrote this out, this is the augmented matrix I would get. Okay, so then I can, let's see if I do minus two row one plus row two. It's going to give me one, two, one. Minus two plus two is zero. And this will be minus four plus one is minus three. And minus two plus zero is minus two. Okay, so um, that's okay. And then what I can do is I have back substitution. I have minus, this is the A column and the B column. Minus three B equals minus two. So B equals two thirds, right? And then um, A plus B equals one. So A equals one minus two thirds, which equals one third. So therefore, A equals one third, B equals two thirds. So therefore, the one zero equals one third two thirds in basis D. Okay. And so these numbers here are going to be the first column of the matrix. So then I have to do this thing with this, I have to do the same thing over here with the um with this one here. This would be um one one equals C one two plus D two one. Well, that's going to be the same augmented matrix almost, right? So I'm still going to do the same row operations minus two row one plus row two to get one, two, one, but then that's gonna be, my, that'll be zero. And this will be uh, minus three. But then this will be minus two plus one is minus one. So then this is again, the C column, the D column. So D equals one third and C plus D equals one for the first row. So C equals one minus one third, which equals two thirds. So therefore, one one in basis equals two thirds, one third in basis D. So therefore our map M B to D equals one third, two thirds, um, two-thirds, one-third. And so it's going to, if I take a vector here in basis B and do the matrix multiplication, it's going to give me a, a vector in basis D. Now, this is the same map. It's mapping, it's the same, It's a these are two different representations of the same map that differ because they're their basis vectors are different. Okay, that is um, that is that one. And there's another, but we can also do, we have B was the standard basis. What if we take the same map, F here, or it's M, right? And it's x, y, um, x, y goes to x plus y and y. And we want to know, let's say we choose here the basis that b now equals 1, 1, 1, minus 1. And this one, 
over here equals one, 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 zero. So now neither, neither B nor D are, um, are the standard basis. So what's the procedure? Well, we still want to find the images under M of the basis vectors. So we still want to know what does one what does one one go to? That's the first basis vector. When we look here, we see well one one goes under M to x plus y is two one, right? And what does one minus one go to? Well, one plus minus one goes to zero. And y is minus one. So those, so this is the image of the this is the image of the basis vectors of B, but we still need these to be in basis D, not in basis uh, the standard basis here. So we have to write this as A times um, one one plus B times um, um, one zero, right? And we have to write this as C times one one plus D times one zero. And then we have we have to solve the two linear systems to find A, A and B. We have one, 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 zero, two, one. And we can do minus row one plus row two, one, one, two, and then we have zero, minus one, minus one. This is A and B. So in the second row, B equals one, right? Because minus B equals minus one, so B is one. Then um, A also equals one because one, this is going to be a plus one equals two. Okay. So this one equals um, one, one in basis D. So we can do the same thing with CD here. We have one, 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 zero. 0 minus 1, minus row 1 plus row 2, um, 1, 1, 0, and we get 0, minus 1, and minus 1, right? Minus, minus, minus 1. So therefore, B also equals 1. But now A has, since B is minus one, A plus B is zero, so A has to equal minus one. I mean, no, not A and B, C and D, sorry. This was, uh, this is C column and D column, so D is one and C is minus one. So our matrix M now between our new B and D is equal to one, one, minus one, one. Okay, so the, you can see that by choosing different bases, I can make any entries I want in here almost. So the the the, the but the point is, given a map and a, and a basis, I can find the matrix that represents it. Okay, well let's go back to the 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 the, um, the uh, and find the properties of this map because we had. Let's see the one in the standard basis. It was just one, zero, one, one. So M equals one, zero, one, one. Well, that's already an echelon form. So the rank equals two, right? Therefore the nullity, because two plus the nullity has to equal two, the nullity equals zero, so the map is on to and one to one. Um, okay, and then we can also we could also ask, well, what's the range space? Well, we could go back and find the range space from this one. Remember, the range space um, R equals the set of all x plus y and y. 
such that um, X and Y are members of R. And this is easy to write because I can I can just say this is X times one zero plus Y times one one such that X and Y are members of R. And you can see then that the that these two these two vectors here in fact this these are linearly independent. Um, it's like neither is a multiple of the other. So therefore the dimension of the range space equals two. And you can sort of see in here that there's um, okay. There's that. And then if you wanted to find the null space directly, you're asked, well, that would be all of the x's and y's such that x plus y, y equals zero, zero. Well, this would say, if I solve this, this one says that y is zero, and because y is zero, x is zero. So the null space here is just zero, zero. And so the dimension of n equals zero, confirming what was found up here. Okay, so that's a, that's like a, you can do lots of things with one example, right? And you can see that it's a little tedious once you get to sort of like a, a larger, like a three by three case. But we that's and that's the point we want to do now is I think the best thing would be to do well. The question is, what kind of example? We, we I can show you how. This all works out. For example, if you have a map from polynomial spaces to polynomial spaces, you can represent that as a matrix, even though they're polynomial spaces. And uh, it's still going to be you have to choose a basis. And so we can go do that. Or maybe the best thing is for you, me to give you a map. Let me give you a map between, say, um, G from R3C to R2C, OK? And let's see, x plus y plus z and x plus z. Oh, or maybe actually, yeah, let's try that. Now, so what is the, okay, so the question is first, what is G for B equals one zero the standard basis one zero 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 one zero 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 one and D equals the standard basis one zero zero one. Okay. So I want you to see if you can find uh, the base, the, the, find the matrix G. Okay. 